I mean, just to, you know, just to say one more time, you know, that um, the event would not have happened at all. This event would not have happened at all if it wasn't for Pam and Mike. So just to say that those guys really were the ones that said, yes, we want to do it. Just, I just want to. That's a cool added layer to the uh, full circle aspect also that I think yes, it is. It is. I really think yeah. it is. It's, it's, I didn't, you know, um, I just think that it's important to be said. So that's all. Yeah. And who knows, who knows what that means, you know, in, for the future, but I just mean that, you know, <laughs> these are people that are reasonable and, and all that. But in the meantime, I am very much, uh, in the rebel moon business. Um, the chat here or like the chat there everyone wants to know is is will warner brothers sell the snyderverse to another studio and have them do it <laughs> um and uh and they're dying to know and well, so i figured exciting, if you're gonna... well, what's ama what's probably, hey. uh, amazing to learn is that my influence over those things is very small is <laughs> wait, wait, I, but i but i see i saw an n on your sleeve right there i saw an n look at oh, that you, you see that, that? Wait, look at see that, that. Uh, they stamped yeah. him. <laughs> well, I, like I said, the truth is, I, I, I mean, it'd be amazing if, um, you know, I could like whatever control over the IP exists. I don't, I don't, yeah. I don't. That's not my part. That's not my role. Um, mm -hmm. it, it's uh, that's a, as they say above my pay grade, and I wish. Um, but I would say that look, my. I'll say one thing. Warner Brothers, as far as this this screening this event, event yeah. is concerned, have been incredible. This these you know, um, you know, this group now is beyond beyond um, kind and caring and personal, and it's been amazing um, working with them. So I have no complaints. Beyond that, as far as the creative goes and what they're planning, I honestly have been busy shooting this movie. I have no idea what's going on. <laughs> Everyone wants to know is, is will Warner Brothers sell the Snyderverse to another studio and have them do it? <laughs> um, and, uh, and they're dying to know. And what's so I figured if you well, <laughs> the problem hey. is, um, amazing to learn is that my influence over those things is very small. Is <laughs> wait, wait, I, but I, but I see, I saw an N on your sleeve right there. I saw an N. Look at oh, that. You see that? that? Look at that. Sure. They, they uh, stamped yeah. him. <laughs> well, I, like I said, the truth is, I, I, I mean, it'd be amazing if, um, you know, I. Like whatever control over the IP exists, I don't. I don't. Yeah. I don't. That's not my part. That's not my role. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's uh, that's a, as they say above my pay grade, and I wish. Um, but I would say that look, my. I'll say one thing, Warner Brothers. As far as this, this, screening this event, event yeah. is concerned, have been incredible. This, these, you know. Um, you know, this group now is beyond, beyond, um, kind and caring and personal, and it's been amazing, um, working with them. So I have no complaints beyond that, as far as the creative goes and what they're planning. I honestly have been busy shooting this movie. I have no idea what. <laughs> <laughs>in today's video we're going to be talking about what Zack snyder said when he was on dave the films junkie youtube channel live stream last night because he said something that i wasn't expecting him to say just yet so yo what is freaking good youtube wish you here if you're new around here make sure to subscribe to never miss Eddie to DC, Marvel, Zack Snyder, Snyderverse, Kaiju, Monsterverse based content that we try to deliver on a daily basis. You can subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on, and let me know.
why did Zack Snyder say, we can talk about this after SnyderCon? Yeah, very coy, very vague. He's playing it very close, so he doesn't actually mean to tease or say anything, because realistically, he didn't say anything, or did he? So, if you could check us out on Twitter, WarsTuG, and also if you could check us out on Instagram, at WarsTuG, to see the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. Right, let's get into it. So, before the video played, I played two clips just for context, because not everyone uses the platform called Twitter. It is quite toxic. I get it if you don't use Twitter. So, last night, Zack Snyder went on the Film Junkies YouTube channel stream, the vodka stream, I believe it was. He's been on there a lot of times. Now, it's, it's common knowledge now that Pam Abdi and Michael DeLuca wanted the Snyderverse to be restored as them two Warner Bros. executives have a lot of faith and wanted Zack Snyder's continuity to continue. So it's no mystery that Zack repeatedly thanked Michael DeLuca and Pam Abdi. These are executives who wanted the Snyderverse to continue. Hence why most of the stuff in the Flash movie is somewhat Zack Snyder, Snyderverse continuity. So it is, just let me get to my point. So, SnyderCon, it's a charity event. So you do need to read between the lines, but Warner Bros. Discovery is a company with a lot of other sub companies and subsections, if you like. So obviously, David Zaslav is the CEO of Warner Bros. Discovery. Then we have James Gunn, who is Zack Snyder's buddy. As Zack Snyder said during the stream, I'll put the stream down below for the full thing. Zack Snyder's buddy is James Gunn. And obviously the other co-head is Pete Saffron. So that's DC Studios. Then we have the continuity that is the DCEU, which is Shazam 2, The Flash, Aquaman and Blue Beetle. Although they're trying to make out Blue Beetle starts the DCU. No, it doesn't because it was filmed for the DC Universe. So if they want to put in DCU, they can, but... Retrospectively from a timeline, it's actually DCEU. Okay, cool. Then we have the Elseworld Universe storyline, which is still under DC Studios, which will be the Batman 2, Robin Patterson, directed by Matt Reeves. And then we have Joaquin Phoenix, The Joker 2, starring Lady Gaga and Joaquin Phoenix, and obviously directed by Todd Phillips. So then we have Pam Abdi and Michael DeLuca, who, as far as I'm aware, they are Warner Bros. executives, but they are Team Zack Snyder, if you like. Now, that, that part there is quite important. So, yesterday's video was kind of negative in a roundabout way because Zack hadn't said what he just said, obviously. So, I do hear things behind the scenes, and what Zack said about the poster we talk about this after the snyder con and some i'm not gonna say specifically what he said you obviously have to watch it but certain things he said line up with certain information i've heard now i'm neither saying this confirms anything but the fact that Zack snyder is talking to warner bros again and has a very good relation with michael deluca and pam abdi obviously Zack snyder's just league warner bros property couldn't screen it in a public theatre without Warner Bros. help. And sure, there are so many ways you can look at this. Yeah, they're just supporting a charity event. They're actually sponsoring the charity event, apparently. Yeah, Universal. It's at a Universal IMAX cinema. But no, Universal haven't bought the Snyderverse. Now, the problem with all this information coming out is you've got content creators coming up with absolute nonsense. Now, the definition of clickbait on YouTube is if you put something in the thumbnail and title and you don't talk about it in the video or it doesn't line up, then in my opinion, it's clickbait. To put a video out saying Netflix has acquired the Snyderverse rights and announcement set for Justice Con. Yo, what the freaking hell? No, Netflix have not acquired any rights to anything. And then to come out with ridiculous headlines like Zack Snyder to announce he's directing a DC Universe film during SnyderCon, people were just running wild with it. And that's why content creators that cover Zack Snyder stuff and Snyderverse content sometimes get a bit of a bad rap for no reason. And then you got people saying, 
Zack Snyder to announce five DC Snyderverse films at Universe Studios reportedly. Now, just putting the word reportedly at the end of a title does not get you out of this clickbait because it's all right to say that. Then you watch the video and then the video says, no, Zack Snyder's not making five new DC Snyderverse movies at all, but it's still clickbait. So that's the problem why Snyderverse content creators can somewhat get a bad rap because of certain content creators who say outlandish things like Netflix has acquired the Snyderverse rights and set for a huge Justice Con announcement. It's not even called Justice Con, it's called SnyderCon. So most of these people making the videos about announcements that are going to appear at the SnyderCon don't even know what they're on about. So yeah, lads, just be a little bit careful with these titles and stuff because that is where some of the content creators in the Snyderverse can get a bad rap. But you need to watch the video for the full context of what is said so the poster that went up to advertise the snyderverse trilogy event which literally sold out really fast which is cool because it means the charity will finally get over the one million mark but at the same time there was only a couple hundred tickets on sale so it was always going to sell out really fast so zach has basically said that yeah that poster does say something and there is some cryptic stuff out there and he was very coy and very vague and i've had a lot of conversation with a lot of you know snyderverse fans and other content creators in the space that cover this kind of stuff and zach's definitely teasing something and i really wish i could say what i've heard but i'm not a scooper i'm not a leaker and none of this will be in the title but it is interesting how Zach is talking to Warner Bros again. Yeah, sure. It's the Warner Bros. Well, I guess they would be Warner Bros. Discovery executives now because Warner Bros. is no longer a company. Although it gets a little bit confusing because they still are calling it Warner Bros. Picture. So, yeah, I think it is, it is very positive. And I don't want to keep making Snyderverse based content because realistically, I've not added any value. I've not added anything in today's video. But I wanted to put it out there because. I've somewhat got a following in the Snyderverse community, and I think I think I could reach a few more people if I put it out there. But it is very telling that he did thank Michael DeLuca and Pam Abdi a few times in that live stream. But this part here, it's too early for me to decode it. There are a lot of simple but obvious references inside this image. We can talk about it after SnyderCon, and I've been told a few things, but I don't want to, you know me, I don't, if it was already out there, I would start talking about it, but I'm not a leaker, I'm nothing like that, nothing to do with this will be in the title or the thumbnail, but it is cool that Zack is talking to Warner Brothers again, and it does kind of discredit James Gunn again, because James Gunn said that Zack's got no interest, but I don't know if it fully discredits him, because he says Zack Snyder hasn't gone to James Gunn, but yo! Can we restore the Snyderverse? That's not really what Zack said. So people attacking and weaponizing this argument against James Gunn. They're friends, they're colleagues, if you like. There's no point to attack James Gunn. I don't believe Zack Snyder has specifically had a conversation with James Gunn because it's not James Gunn that would restore it. James Gunn does not own the DC Universe. He doesn't own the characters. He's just in charge of his studio. The same way if Bob Iger wanted to do something, he would go over the top of Kevin Feige. Like recently, Disney basically fired one of Kevin Feige's lieutenant that's been at Marvel for like, before Marvel was even a thing. So yeah, like so I keep saying, the head of the studios, they don't really mean that much in the long run. Realistically, Zasloff is in charge of everything. But I mean, I wanted to put Sunk out there today because Zach is, he is saying something without actually saying anything. And yeah, I get it. There's people that are optimistic. There's people that are very pessimistic. And I like to kind of be in the middle. I don't want to say anything's coming or anything's happening. But at the same time, there's a lot of pros and a lot of cons. And yeah, Zack Snyder did say, mention something about potentially the Snyderverse being sold off. But the problem again here is you need to understand the context. Zack doesn't own the IP, but he did say this. Zack Snyder was asked, would WB sell the Snyder? Ver well, it's not. It's Warner Bros. Discovery, so these people don't even know the name of the company. Sell the Snyderverse to Amazon or another studio. Zack said the truth is, that would be amazing. Whatever control over the IP exists, that's not my role. As they say, it's above my pay grade. So 
Zach's fully open to it. I've never said Zach's not open to it, but you do have to understand with Rebel Moon, his time would be limited. So even if hypothetically Amazon or Netflix or any other budget company other than Netflix comes in to acquire the licenses for the Snyderverse, you've got to understand it still would be produced under DC. It's just Netflix, Amazon, Hulu, Disney Plus, whoever was would require it, because Zasov said he would sell to competition, they that DC would still produce it because just take Netflix's Daredevil. Marvel made that, but Netflix payrolled it. So it would still be DC produced. Like it's not like Netflix would produce it themselves. No. If they acquire the licenses, it would still be DC producing it just for whatever company would take it over. So it is it is promising and it is looking like something could be happening. But at the same time, I don't want to say what I may or may not have heard because you know me, I'm not a leaker, but something could be in the works. You don't know. Maybe DeLuca, maybe Pam Abdi, maybe they still want Jack Snyder's Just League 2 and 3. And maybe that's the reason they've helped put this event together because because they're using Warner Bros. Discovery properties, i.e. Man of Steel, Bam vs. Superman, and Zack Snyder's Just Sig, they, they couldn't have screened them in public theatres without Warner Bros. permission. Just like if I wanted to screen Zack Snyder's Just Sig in the UK, I would need Warner Bros. UK's permission. So yeah, it definitely couldn't have happened without them. So let me know, is this more evidence? Do I know more than what I'm letting on? Or... Do I not? So like always, guys, this will probably be the last video covering this kind of stuff to do with Zack Snyder's Just League because it's realistically a charity event. But on the tail end, that poster, he wants to talk about it after the event. So like always, guys, check us out on Instagram at Walsh Jew. See the beautiful face behind the beautiful voice. Check us out on Twitter at Walsh Jew G. And I will catch you in another video very soon, guys. Catch you later.